Hello all. So now our topic is regarding human gene project. So let's see some of the very few and important points regarding human gene project. Okay. So let's get into the topic. Human gene project, project we call it as HGP, was an international scientific research project which got complete, successfully completed in the year 2003. So by sequencing the entire human genome, so each and every gene, what it codes for, what is the character of the gene, so what are the amino acids, so all the genes will code for what kind of proteins, enzymes, each and everything regarding the human genome. So this project is being completed in the year 2003 by sequencing the entire human genome of 3.3 million base pairs. According to the NCRT, the numbering is very, very important. Don't forget to remember the numbers in which year the human genome project got completed, that is 2003. And at the same time, remind this the number three. So by this, you can find out 3.3 billion pairs of billion base pairs they found out from the sequencing of the human genome. The HGP, the Human Genome Project, led to the growth of bioinformatics. The branch, we have BSc Bioinformatics and BTEC Bioinformatics has been developed from the information what they gathered from the human genome and remaining genomic DNA. So, which is a vast field of research. Still, there is many research that is going on human genome. So, based on this project, human genome project, still the research is going on. So the successful sequencing of the human genome could solve the mystery of many human disorders. We have many human disorders like phenylketonuria, color blindness, hemophilia, like many genomic chromosomal related disorders can be resolved by find out, finding out the sequencing of the human genome. It is being believed. So many disorders in humans gave us away and cope with it. And coming to the human genome project goals. So the goals of human genome project are optimization of data analysis, sequencing the entire genome, identification of the complete human genome, creating genome sequence database to store the data, taking care of legal, ethical and social issues that the project may pose. So we have to consider the legal, ethical, as well as social issues also. So methods of human genome project is, in this project, we have two different methods and significant methods which are typically used. Expressed sequence tags wherein the genes were differentiated to one form, a pair of genome and the other which is expressed as RNA. So one we have, if we know the DNA, we can know what type of RNA is being produced from that DNA with the help of transcription. That is one method. Sequence annotation within the entire genome was first sequenced and functional tags were assigned later. First, we have to sequence the entire genome and the sequencing functional tags has been assigned later. That is another method. So the process of human genome project the complete gene set was isolated from the cell. It was then split into smaller fragments. So the DNA structure was then amplified with the help of vector, which is mostly as bacterial artificial chromosome. Why? Because the genetic code is universal and yeast artificial chromosomes. So with that, we can amplify the thing. The smaller fragments were then sequenced by using DNA sequences. And next, on the basis of, on the overlapping range of the, overlapping regions of the sequences were then arranged. All the information of this genome sequence was then stored in a computer-based program. So that's why the name bioinformatics. We are storing the entire genomic information in the system. So computers are very much helpful in the genome projects. Because we can store the information, we can analyze the information, we can compare the information. So this way the entire genome was sequenced and stored as genome data, database in computers. Genome uh, mapping, we call it as gene mapping, was the next goal which was achieved with the help of microsatellites. 
nothing but repeated uh, DNA sequence. Coming to the features, features of human genome project are our entire genome is made up of 3164.7 million base pairs, or we can otherwise call 3.3 billions of base pairs. On an average, the gene is made up of 3000 nucleotides. So the function more than 50% of the gene had to be discovered. Still, it is under research only. Proteins are coded by less than 2% of the genome. Most of the genome is made up of repetitive sequence, which has no coding purpose at all. Specifically, but uh, such redundant code can help us better understand of genetic development of humanity through the ages. Okay, so in this way, we can find, so the entire genomic sequence is being found out and now still the research is going. So this we call it as, I have given a very simple overview regarding the human genome project. Okay, so hope to see many more videos in the future. So if you like my video, like it, subscribe and share with your friends. Thank you very much.